it's raining. So it must be Tuesday. Officially, it's Tuesday. Um, I hope you're all well. I'm just doing some breakfast. I'm doing scrambled eggs. I'm going to do some fruit bread, fruit toast. Um, yeah, me and Miles day today. I've got actually got a couple of things to do. So I've got a couple of things to kind of run around and do in the rain, which is kind of annoying when you've got like a four year old to drag around with you. But he doesn't mind. It's more me to moan about it. Um, but I hope, hope you've had a good weekend. Hope you had a lovely Mother's Day. Um, we ended up uh, going out for like, for like a roast dinner uh, with my mother-in-law and it was really lovely. The kids were really well behaved as well, which was good. Um, and yeah, just had a really chilled afternoon when we got back. Um, I watched the... I was like, I'm keeping the block bed up because I want to watch a couple of movies. So me and the kids, literally, and Graham, he had a little little snooze. Um, we watched Christopher Robin, which oh, I love that movie. It's the one with Ewan McGregor in it. And then we, I watched, uh, I mean, Miles actually loved The Lady in the Tramp, the remake. I've never seen that before, but it's on Disney Plus and it was just so good. Lots of talking dogs, but it was really, really good. I love the original Lady in the Tramp anyway, and it was just, uh, it's a really good version. We've actually watched it three times since Sunday, hence Tuesday. But um, yeah, and then I took my mum out with my sister yesterday. We went to Winchester and we went for afternoon tea, um, which to be perfectly honest, I was heavily disappointed. Went to um, Audrey's Tea Rooms and I was actually quite disappointed with just the quality I suppose the amount and the quality of what you paid for um yeah it was a bit of a shame but my mum seemed to like it like like we had a really nice time but I did feel like it was way overpriced for like what it actually was which is such a shame so I definitely won't go back there and I wouldn't recommend it to be perfectly honest we've done so many afternoon teas before and that's probably the worst one we've ever had um, but nonetheless, we had a lovely day in Winchester yesterday. It was dry and we just had a really lovely walk around the shops and, um, just, you know, obviously just caught up and stuff. So yeah, we've had a very eventful couple of days. Um, but yeah, I think we're pretty much, I've got a few errands to run this morning, but pretty much it's going to be a bit of a home PJ day. Although obviously I'm going to get right, breakfast. It's rainy wet day. I fancy something warm and cosy. Yeah. Very good. I'm just gonna sort the goats out. Oh, wish me luck. Mm. I've got some new duck friends. Come on, bring your mates out. There they are. Three ducks. Three boy ducks. I literally let them out yesterday. I was giving them some food and was ex like heard these extra like rat 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 and I was thinking, what? We've got like boys. How have they had babies? And then Graham basically picked them up the day before and put them in there um, from a lady that was just giving them away. She had too many boy ducks. So yeah, we've acquired three three ducks and they're so cute. They love this weather. They were in the puddles yesterday. Right, we've just come to Aldi just to pick up a few bits. Using his biscuits, right, and some bourbons. Okay. okay. Look at all the cake. Come to my home and have a birthday party at my home. I said to my friends, one of my friends. Okay. Right, we are done. We're heading home. I've got my dado. I can't see it, but I got. It. I needed. I literally need like that much of dado rail left so I had to buy a whole piece for it to finish off our women panelling. <laughs> so annoying. We had five lengths, like two meter lengths. I've had to buy another one. Um yeah Miles is eating what are you eating? show you what I've got. I've got, Miles chose a lot of this stuff. It's heavily influenced by Miles. We've got some chocolate mousses. Miles chose those. Got some turkey breast, some British maple ham. We've had that before, it's nice. Um, he chose these pork cocktail sausages. 
never buy these, but he was one of them. Um, some raspberry trifles, some of the chicken bite thingies. Kids throw them into their lunch boxes. I got Graham a uh, prawn mayonnaise sandwich, and then I got Miles a egg and crust sandwich as well. Um, Close those, the twin pots, we love those boys. And then I got two of the yogurts for myself, the raspberry and then the mango and passion fruit, some cheese crackers with the dip. Again, Miles shows those. Uh, I got some mature grated cheddar, bananas, bananas, two lots of apples, carrots, kale, two lots of mozzarella. And then I got two of the frozen pies, the chicken, ham and hock leek and leek. Um, we've had these before, um, but the, the steak and ale is actually usually really nice, but they didn't have any, they only had these ones. And I've also, I've actually already got a steak and ale, but I think it's from Lidl in the freezer. So then we have five pies. Um, but yeah, their pies are really, really nice. They just don't really have much variety this time of year for some reason. I feel like it's pie season still. Really fancy that. Um, I've got a garlic baguette, tomato puree, some onion and garlic, pasta sauce, um, some dog crunchies and dog bones. I like those little chewy thingies. Um, I've got some more coffee pods. They're on offer at the moment. Strength 10. Mars chose the Easter marshmallows. Rich uh, pack of crisps. He chose the chocolate brioche rolls. We've got some racer bars. Um, I give those to the big kids occasionally like after school because they've got nuts in them so I can't take them to school but I did get them some choco breaks some of the marshmallow rice crispy things um chocolate chip cake bars we haven't had these in ages they are individually wrapped which is quite handy again for school cut lunches Marvel chose these and he chose those but he said he's well he's going to share those with the big kids and then he also chose these so yeah this was 50 pounds which I suppose I didn't get an awful lot actually, but I did get what I needed and then extras. So um, yeah, I'm gonna put it away. We've just come in the shop. Graham's actually really busy, but I dropped him off some lunch. We picked up, well, we've actually swapped. Um, I can show you. Miles's uh, books. And then we picked up some milk and meat for the week. And then we've got some doggy bones. You gonna carry those, man? Got washing on the go, two loads day today um yeah so i've got some milk i'm gonna do carbonara tonight so i've got some smoked bacon uh grim made some um these are actually chicken kievs so he's made them up i've got so we're gonna do carbonara i'm gonna do homemade pizza one night chicken kievs with chips um pie and mash with veg and then there's just one more day that i just kind of I think I might just come up with something. Well, when I'm in the shop tomorrow, I could always bring something back. But yeah, or just raid the freezer or something. Um, Miles picked a selection of books today. These Osborne books are really good. They're really good first readers as well. We've actually got some anyway. But he chose, um, you can see they're really good first readers. But yeah, so he chose, <laughs> he wanted to take a lot of them today. He loves those ones. And then we also he also chose this one. Pepper Go See the Queen. Shark Feel Shy. He also chose this one, the boy who built a wall round himself, which is really random. Um, this one, which I chose, the river. It looked really, really sweet. Um, he chose this one, Bad Bunny. He also chose this one, Where's Home Daddy Bear? It's a cute one. And then this one, head over tail. Yep, head over tail. And then I chose this one, come away from the water, Shirley. He's doing about pirates at nursery, it's about pirates. So I thought that'd be quite nice. And then he also chose this one, which is the mammals, birds, and the vertebrates. I'm feeling in a really picky mood today. Like, do you know what I mean? Just don't really know what you fancy, but I feel like just like grazing on really random stuff. Uh, sweet potato tortilla chips from M&F, really nice, and salsa. Oh, that's a stale. Easter. Mm -hmm. Right, you want some cream? Yeah. Here we go. Miles, my 
where do you want it? I've just finished watching the 10th episode. I only had like 12 minutes left of the second se season of Anne with an E. Oh, I just love it so much. <laughs> it melts me, honestly. It's like a big warm hug, but it makes you cry at the same time. Honestly, it's just such an emotional. So I'm on season three, which is the last one now, and she's all grown up. Well, she looks so grown up. Right, we're back from the school and I feel like I've just been so lazy today. <sighs> you, know, you just have those days where you just can't, I just can't be bothered to do that. I mean, I've left the sink, like, full. Like, that's, that's how lazy I've been today. I just can't, I can't be asked. I can't be asked to do anything. I'm doing carbonara tonight, so at least that's the 30 minute meal, and I think... Although Violet's got this really horrible cough. She's got like this ongoing cough that's just really... At first it was like a bit mucusy and I remember, I swear, it's very similar to what Graham and Miles had. It was just really um, irritating. They would just cough and cough, 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 cough. And now it's turned into like a really heavy mucusy cough. Um, Violet being Violet, she won't take anything for it. Like nothing. Even the... Um, Miles, when he had that cough, he took... Bronco stop or whatever the kids won and it's um strawberry marshmallow flavour. It's like a it's a really nice flavour, but she won't take it. So um anyway, she, I, I think I've convinced her to help me make it or pretty much make it because she knows how to make it. Right, I've laid it all out for her. You just need some broccoli, some pancetta or I use smoked bacon, some pecorino or parmesan, four eggs, but I actually only have three, so that'd be fine doesn't really matter too much um, and then I've got my linguine so I might use from um, little pan of water and that's literally it right I may have bent the bacon I can't take my eye off it I mean it's extra crispy Graham would love this but I'm gonna have to like sprinkle it on kids I'm not going to mix it through because I know Mars is going to be like oh, I can't eat it because he's only got little teeth so whoops it didn't turn out too bad to be fair it's just well done bacon right Graham's doing books tonight and getting Miles to bed it's nearly seven o'clock he's pretty tired I don't know what it is home days like they're more chilled but for some reason I always feel more tired Honestly, I feel like I've been a bit of a slob today, but it's been nice just to chill. But I felt really, I felt like overly tired today, even though we haven't like exerted ourselves in any particular way. Um, I did clean the bathrooms this morning though, and I did do two loads of washing, so I've done something. And I've hoovered, obviously, I hoover twice a day. But yeah, um, Miles is back to nursery tomorrow. Graham's got market tomorrow, so um, yeah, we're gonna. Probably have an early night. Ooh. We're gonna watch an episode of True, De True Detective. True Detective. Um, it's the newest one with Jodie Foster. It's really good, honestly. Um, we've been having problems downloading episode five though. I don't know why. It just keeps not downloading fully. But it looks fine tonight. So um, yeah, we'll probably watch that. Have an early night. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I don't know why that is so bright. There you go. Um, yeah, a little home day. But yeah, I, I hope you have a great week and I will see you in my next video, everybody.